I've found it's been really helpful to me with the, knowing the cycles um, because a lot of the time you're in fear of what may happen and what you hear in the media. So around that period of 2008 to 2011 or whatever, when things were really quite um, pessimistic, um, I found it very hard to be positive. Whereas now I kind of know what to expect and I'm a long-term investor, I'm a buy and hold investor, I don't, don't flip properties. Um, so it's really nice to know what is happening out in the cycles and what I like about it, I subscribe to the uh, monthly newsletter uh, to keep me up to date with where the cycle is and then and you can get to pick it you can see things happening in the newspaper and like when I saw the stock market take a dive this week in the newspapers 10 years ago that would have probably made me think oh gee a property price is going to drop and I'm there looking at it, I'm thinking no we've, we've been getting information on this for the last three years that this was going to happen you know we didn't know what was going to cause it but we knew it was going it was going to come along around about this time um, and so that's how it's really helped me, given me a positive outlook on, on things and being able to plan.